Hi, I'm attorney Mark Blaine, and I want to talk about some secret legal weapons that I use in my personal injury practice to help my clients every day. And the funny thing is, uh, these, these uh, insights are not well known, and even a lot of uh, personal injury attorneys don't use them effectively as what I do with each of my cl clients' cases. As one example, it's called Section 998 of the California Code. It's an offer to compromise prior to going to trial. This is a very, very important one because it's often underutilized with other lawyers. And what I mean by that is you have to really use it strategically, but let me explain what it is. Section 998 says that you have an opportunity to offer a settlement to the other side prior to trial. And if, that, if they don't take it and you go to jury trial and the jury gives you more than the offer, then you are now able to get the other party's fees and costs and defense expert fees on top, including interest. So it provides a financial incentive to the party that's being given the offer to consider the settlement. It goes both ways. It's not required, but I do it every time in a, in a, in a case that's going to trial because I wanna make sure that we're giving every effort to put pressure on the defense to see if we can get a settlement. And if not, then we'll get extra damages like we just spoke about, expert fees, interest, once we beat that offer that we gave them and they rejected and we go to jury trial. So that's it in a nutshell. Uh, when do you use it? Well, a lot of times you have to use it after discovery has been exchanged. So both sides have all the information on potential defenses, uh, potential uh, offenses for each side. And so they have a full menu, if you will, of information that they can consider. So later on, they can't tell a judge that that wasn't a fair section 998 offer. We didn't have all the information. So you want to make sure all the information has been exchanged on your case before you even utilize this powerful secret legal weapon, if you will. And a lot of times it puts a lot of pressure on the insurance company because remember, they're risk perceivers. Their needle moves in value when they perceive risk. And by doing this very strategically, you are putting risk on that insurance company to really consider your case seriously, or they'll pay more because they're not gonna, they're not gonna make that offer. Uh, you're gonna get a jury that's gonna give you much more money, and you're, they're gonna have to now pay your expert fees and interest. So it gives them a, a, a pause moment, if you will, to say, hmm, we must really consider this. And again, uh, it goes both ways. Both sides can use it. Sometimes the defense doesn't use it. I typically use it every time because it's, it's great. And also, uh, if I know I'm going to try the case, I want to make sure for my client I have that cost protection and those interest charges can add up over time. So, and it's, it's something really powerful that I use and I think it's been underutilized by other lawyers and uh, that's why you need an experienced trial lawyer to help you in your personal case. I'd like to give you one example on a Section 988 offer to compromise in your personal injury case. Let's say I'm the plaintiff, I represent an injured person, and I offer the defense $250,000 to settle. They have 30 days to consider that. If they do not pay that money to you in that 30 day time frame, then the offer to compromise is deemed null, it's, it's been rejected. Let's say we go to jury trial and we get $300,000. Well, we've beaten our offer to the defense. So in that scenario, we now get all of our expert costs, which can be quite expensive at trial, 20 to 25,000, and interest at 10% since the offer was rejected. So that can be another 12,000 or more. Uh, so that's an example on how you would benefit by using a 998 offer in your personal injury case. Now this is just one legal strategic weapon that I use in my arsenal of legal weapons. If you wanted to learn more about this one, feel free to give me a call. If you want to talk about others I got in my bag of weapons, I'm more than happy to talk about that too. But I can be reached easily online, uh, email, text, phone calls, make myself available to you. I'll be here for you. With that said, have a great day and stay strong.